Hello and welcome again to QuickSite.com's tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to add and manage news feeds. An example of this in the default site here is under the news section and it's pretty basic. There's uh, many things you can do with news feeds but uh, for this example we've uh, basically made use of um, your news feed manager and we're just bringing in a Yahoo news feed and we've also made use of a module um, for your news feeds and we'll go over that as well. First start by logging in and once you have the area you want to go to is under components and you'll have news feeds and again just like uh, cat contacts and banners for that matter you always have categories categories and categories and this is what you'll want to um, think about and organize your content with. Now just to make it simple I made a category called news feeds um, but let's make a new category. So let's just call it more feeds. I'm going to save that. And once I've created a category, again you just at least need one, but I've created two, then you go into the actual feeds themselves. And as you notice I just have one feed about Joomla News and that is the feed right here that comes in from Yahoo. And if you open that up it's really straightforward. Very few uh, fields to fill out. The name of it, the alias, lowercase, no space, the category it belongs to, and then the link. Now where do I get this link? Um, to get an RSS feed link, um, I mean there are thousands out there. Um, to be quick about it, Let's just open Yahoo and type into the search bar, uh, you know, websites. And you'll notice that you get all these search results, but the key thing is, uh, and depending on the browser, there is this icon that lights up. And when you click on that, it produces this link. And I'm going to copy that. And uh, let's create a new a new feed. So here I'm in the news feed manager which is again under the feeds and I'm going to create new. I'm going to call this websites and I'm going to place it into the new category that we just made called new, more feeds and I'm going to paste the link I just copied. And right here the number of articles that I want it to show um, I want it to show more than five. Let's say I want it to show 15. And then I'm going to click save. Now again, once you've added it into your components, you're going to have to create a menu item that links to this feed. And to do that, you go into your menus. And we'll just go into our main menu, and as you can tell, there's news. Okay. Um, I'll add this as another top link, but to do so, you would select new menu item, and then there's news feeds. Now again, unlike previous tutorials where we would select articles to connect to articles in our article manager. Or if we're going to connect to contacts in our contacts area, this is going to be a new menu item, a new menu item for news feeds. So we'll go to new menu item, select news feeds, and it's going to ask, we have several options here. Do we want a category list layout? Do we want to, uh, basically this layout shows a list of all news feed categories. So if I select it here, this page would show basically the two categories I've created. Category layout. This layout shows a list of news feeds in a category. So if you've got a real hot category and you've got a lot of news feeds in there, you might select this one. Um, for simplicity, we'll just collect or uh, select individual feed, and this shows a single news feed. And we're going to call it website news. And over here it asks me to select the feed. And here's the new one I just made. More feeds is the category and the name of the feed is website. So I'm going to select that. Now notice the parent item is in the top right now. So when I select apply, because I want to stay on this page, to view that on the front end of the site, simply click refresh and then you'll notice it shows up. Now when I click this link that I just created, notice what pulls in. It is going to be 
about 15 articles from the Yahoo search results brought in by this link that I copy and pasted and put into the back end. Um, but let's say I don't want the website news to show as a top link. Let's say I want to put it as a sublink under news. Then you'd go back into your menu manager. And instead of it being in the top, you'd place it in the news link and that have that as its parent item. So this link, website news, will now show as a sublink under the news top link or news top menu item. And let's uh, hit apply and go to the front end and see those changes. And you'll see that it removed that link and then sure enough it placed it as a sublink under news. And there's website news as a sublink. When I click on that, again, it's the same same page. And that is how you add RSS feeds to your site and how you create menu items that link to them. And that concludes this tutorial.